Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you are okay on that side of the screen. And today with a small tip regarding our Android TV OS and a simple way to customize our home screen with an app that will allow us to organize our screen with apps that we install that are not available on the Google Play Store. So if this is something that matters to you, then stay tuned and in a few minutes you'll be able to tell. Now I'm using a NVIDIA Shield TV. In terms of this monitor, it is one of the latest monitors from Philips. This is the Momentum 55 inches with 144 Hertz designed especially for gaming. Really awesome and one of the things that I'm really enjoying is the sound bar that it's built in on this display. So it's just awesome. Now, that being said, let's go for it. Now, one of the things that I want to show you right over here that most of you will have is apps that are not available on the Google Play Store for the Android TV. So if I go to my apps, uh, you will see that I've got Google Chrome right over here. I've got TV App Repo, which is another way of organizing our apps on the home screen. I've got this app right over here, which is not. This one, Nosh TV, it's not and so on. So what we are going to do is to install a app which is in fact available on the Play Store and we are going to get it and the app is called let's go to the search and search for Nebula Nebula Manager. There we go. Nebula Manager. So this is the app that we're going to install. It's available and this is one of the methods that I've been using for the past few months or so and it might be useful for one of well the next video that we'll be recording with one app that it's not available on the Play Store. Now if I open the Nebula Manager it will show me all the applications that I've got and um, well that I've got that are not compatible with well there's a mixture here most of them are not downloaded from the Google Play Store but some of them are so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a few Let's select speed test, Nosh TV, which is certainly not downloaded, Mail Go, um, and Google Chrome. So I just selected four. And what I'm going to do right now is go to the home screen. And if I go to the bottom, I will see that at this moment I've got Nebula Manager right over here with the apps that I've chosen. So let's move this to the top and bam. Now this is not the only method we have been using some methods but this is the one that I'm using right now for the past few months as I said. So really easy just do this. Uh, truth be told that the thumbnails are not very nice. Um, the app that I was using previously was the TV app repo and the result was more or less the same but the difference is that I could only put the apps right over here. Now at this moment I can have the second line uh, and put it where I want with the apps that were downloaded from somewhere else. So this is the first tip. Now the other thing that I want to share with you is one app that I'm using at this moment to sideload apps to the Android TV OS. And that app is, there we go, this is the app right over here, send files. Once we have it downloaded on our phone, we are going to, to the Play Store once again right over here, get more apps and let's search for um, send send and it's already over there so i don't need to write anything else send files to tv i already have installed so let's open it up and uh, at this moment i already have a file that i received right over here let me just okay so once we open it up we have to select between send or receive in this particular case i want to receive files so I've got nothing over there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to open uh, this up. But before, you might want to go and, for example, download one app that is very well known. This is the Aptoid TV app. And uh, we can just press right over here to download to our phone and put it on our download folder. Once that it's done, then I can open the send and receive files. And I'm going to select send files I'm going to download and then just select the app toy tv and it's going to ask me which uh, tv i want to send in this particular case it's detecting my two nvidia shields i've got one right over here and the other one on the other floor so i'm going to select the android tv number two bam there we go 
succeeded. I've got the file right over there. No need to transfer to my network attached storage solution. No need to put a USB pen drive. So that is it. Um, now let's open it up and open. And right now it's going to ask if I want to install. Yeah, let's press install. And after installing it, it's, if it's for the first time, it will ask for a few permissions. Here we will say install anyway. And that is it. App installed, done and done. So I can now go back. I can go to Nebula Manager and I can select the Aptoid TV app to be on the home screen as well. So if I want to access Aptoid TV, bam, here we go. Aptoid TV on the home screen with the thumbnail and so on and so forth. And okay, we can move on, allow, and bam, here we go. We can now start searching for apps, download them and install, and then use Nebula Manager to put them whatever we want on our home screen. Guys, and this is it. Hope that the video was helpful in some way. And if it was, don't forget the usual thumbs up right over there, which is really appreciated on this side of the screen. My name is Roberto George, and as always, I'll see you guys on the next one.